Well, if you're a parent, especially if your teen is new to high school, you may be wondering what type of dress should my daughter wear to this upcoming homecoming dance? Well, here to clear up what to wear is Lisa Carson from Natalie M in Overland Park. So what are some of the latest trends that you're seeing? We're seeing a little bit of everything. One of the trends that's very, very popular right now is just a simple satin little A-line dress. Mm -hmm. um, Actually, right over here, Madison has a great example of that from Sherry Hill. It's in navy, which is a real classic color for homecoming. She loves the little pockets. Pockets are very, very popular for homecoming right now. If you want to come step up, you've yeah. got the dress on, you can definitely model it for us. That looks great, and you would have so much fun at any homecoming dance there. Yeah, yeah. Now, I know another big question is going to be, do I wear a long or short dress? What do you recommend? In the metro, the lion's share of the schools are going to be wearing short dresses. That's really what we're going to see more than anything else. Now, if you're a contender for court, if you've been nominated for homecoming court, you'll probably need a long dress for presentation. I think it's always a great idea to ask the upperclassmen what's, what's the norm at your school. Okay, and let's talk about some of these other looks we've got. I love this dress that Miranda has on. It's fun, it's flirty, it's a great way for her to kind of showcase her sense of style. This is also a good dress that you could wear to other events. If she threw on a pair of flat sandals and had simple hair and jewelry, she could wear this to a, like an outdoor lawn party, garden party, something like that. And I love the maroon and the navy, and those kind of give you fall undertones mm -hmm. and just make you feel really happy probably to be at your homecoming dance. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Now, what's the difference if there's a formal or an informal dance? You know, again, I would suggest asking your upperclassmen because sometimes informal might mean it's right after the football game and you're wearing jeans and a t-shirt. But for most girls, informal is going to mean that you're going to wear a more simple dress. A great dress for a more informal homecoming would be what Katie has on. Um, this is a dress you could wear with a high heel like she has on, or you could wear it with a pair of cute flip-flops and have it be more informal. One of my favorite things about this dress also is it's part of our new collection. It's, it's $25. Oh my gosh, $25 for We have a whole rack of dresses steal. that are now on promo, part of a new promo, $25 a dress. Oh, well, thank you so much, and it looks beautiful on you. Yeah, uh, I what? love the navy with the red hair. She looks absolutely gorgeous. Yes, and one thing I remember from my high school days, and my sister's also in high school, you really want to feel comfortable because you're kind of at those years where that's so important. Mm -hmm, absolutely. One of the things I ask girls when they're picking out a dress, can you get in and out of a car? Are you going to be able to sit down and have dinner with your date and feel comfortable? Those are things you really need to consider. Um, one of the things that I love about this dress that Hannah has on, even though she is glitz and glam from head to toe, she's still comfy, she can still sit down, she can get in and out of a car. Links are a little bit longer, so it's easier for you to do that as well. So you can be glitz and glam and still be comfortable. And you love having that conversation for the girls to have with the parents before they go in the store because that's a huge part too. Absolutely. I think it's so important that families talk a little bit about budget and make sure everyone has the same expectation. Um, I also think it's really important for girls to advocate for themselves and try on different things but be able to speak about what they're comfortable in or what they feel beautiful in. You also have other looks. You sent us some photos. Do you want to talk about some of those? Yeah, absolutely. I love this picture right here. Um, this is a hot pink, which is another hot color for homecoming, has pockets again, which are very, very popular. This dress is also very modest. We hear from a lot of schools that they do have regulations about shoulder coverage or the width of the straps. So this is a great dress if you go to a parochial school that maybe has some rules. Mm -hmm. Jumpsuits are hot. Very, very hot. I think it's exciting too. It's a great, different, fun look. If you're a person who really likes to go crazy on the dance floor, a jumpsuit's a great way to go. She can dance all night. Yeah, absolutely, about. absolutely. And these are two looks from Sherry Hill, both with a lot of bling. Both these girls attend Shawnee Mission South, and we loved the fact that these are actually their school colors. We do have oh. some girls who come in and want their school colors for their dance. Well, Lisa and all you young ladies have so much fun at your homecoming dances. Thank you for coming on our show. Bill?